for the first time, it might be actually easier and less expensive to bring the internet to everyone rather than just some people. And with the internet comes education, it comes economic opportunities. With the internet comes you know, access to healthcare. And by connecting everyone, we'll finally be able to get that like two thirds of the world's wisdom and insight and intelligence that we're currently leaving out of this conversation into that conversation. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure the result is going to be spectacular. Loon is a, um, a network of free-floating stratospheric balloons. Now, if the balloons just floated entirely free, they would eventually drift to either pole and that wouldn't be terribly useful. So our loon balloons are these great big sort of 15 meter in diameter things that float about 20 kilometers up in the sky. And we can move them up and down a little bit through about a kilometer and a half of altitude. And by doing that, we can choose different winds because in the stratosphere, winds at different levels go in very different directions. So by sort of choosing the appropriate wind, you can guide these balloons and you can keep them in formation and then keep the entire group together as they drift around the world. So the loon balloons float in a group and each loon balloon has an antenna that provides the internet, kind of as you can imagine this sort of, this cone of coverage on the ground. And right now on the ground, that circle of coverage is about 40 kilometers in diameter. And so as one loon balloon is floating over, if you have an appropriate internet antenna, that's what we call these things, this is an antenna that points up at the sky. And so as loon balloons drift over, this, which goes on the side of your house, will make a connection to that loon balloon. And as the first balloon drifts off, another balloon is drifting in to take its place. So you never even notice that one balloon is, has, has, has left and a new one is there. There's just con a continuous ribbon of coverage that's floating overhead 20 kilometers up, and uh, you get the internet. I think that uh, in the not too distant future, maybe, maybe a couple of years away, we will have constellations of thousands of loon balloons drifting in bands around the planet. And in uh, you know, many places that are rural and remote, you'll see houses or maybe farms or possibly little, little cafes with these internet antennas on them. And what these will do is they will bring connectivity to people who've never had it before. And, and through that connectivity will come you know, education and healthcare uh, information and other economic opportunities. And this world is going to be far better connected than it was before. But the other interesting thing about this is that not only will there be low cost connectivity, but it's also connectivity that we can dynamically adapt. So in situations where there is a crisis on the ground, where terrestrial connectivity is limited because of a disaster, earthquake, whatever is going on, we can actually cluster more of these balloons, providing better network coverage. Um, we can launch these balloons relatively quickly. So unlike, say, satellite communications, where you have a five-year lead time, uh, ultimately we think that we will actually be able to dynamically vary the coverage of Loon, in, essentially in real time, to respond to users' needs, and also to launch new connectivity relatively quickly in places that need it uh, to fill in the gaps if the, the cell network goes down or whatever. So it's going to be a really interesting world, I think, with um, much more dynamic connectivity. And I believe in, in 10 years' time, it will just be commonplace. Well, of course there are, are stratospheric balloons overhead providing us connectivity. Just like right now, we think, well, of course there are satellites up there that are providing us connectivity. Mm -hmm.